there as we head back into the cauldron for the final of the Open Men's Beach Flags Championship of Australia. Paul Cancroft, Wilson from Carrawa, Christopher Stewart, Alex Headlands, Todd Edwards, Morgan Foster and Simon Harris, who today is looking to equal the great Michael Jones's record of seven Open Flags Championships. It's a little bit of history that means so much to him. And he's going through his routine now. He knows what's at stake. He gets very focused. He won't even look at his competitors once he gets started. You know what he does for training? He actually goes to bed listening to a whistle <laughs> to try to get his reflexes. You can imagine his alarm in the morning. <laughs> well, he certainly knows how to focus, and he's been in this position many times before. So there are our top five competitors. Harris away well at the top of the screen as the boys from Alex and Carroll. It looks as though it might be Chris Stewart. Jess from Tom Nolan there. Jess snatching it. That's disappointing. The local lad, he's out unfortunately. Tom Nolan from North Cottesloe. So now we were down to four. Let's take another look at it. Well, they definitely up first on the other side was Simon Harris, but it's the other guys here in the mix. And there it is, the Alex competitor, Chris Stewart, finally getting that flag. So they're down to four. So again, we have four competitors remaining, only three medals, of course, to be contested. So one man here is going to go home very disappointed. And there's Harris just making his bet, handing across to Morgan Foster, already focusing, and Chris Stewart from Alexandra Headlands. One man to miss out on a medal. The concentration now is just paramount. They've really got to be listening. Foster closest to screen up well, so Alex still in the mix along with Harris. Cuts across the Karawa competitor. And it may have been... It was Morgan, Morgan Foster out, unfortunately. The Karawa competitor there and very disappointed. That's a hard one to take. They're up. They're definitely up and he's out. He's, he's out from the first go. He's just, he knows he's missed out. Morgan Foster there, very disappointed. Fourth place. So, and now we are down to three to fight out gold, silver and bronze. Well, they're all guaranteed a medal here. It's just what colour they get. So, there's Harris who's at the bottom of the screen. Top is Chris Stewart. In the middle is Paul Crowcroft wilson Stuart, well, they're all up well. Harris cuts across and just diving oh, across. Stuart. Looks as though it might have been Chris Stewart just trips halfway down the course and leaves Paul Crowcroft Wilson and Simon Harris to contest the gold medal. Well, these two have definitely uh, battled it out many occasions at World Championships and Australian Championships, so this is going to be a ding dong battle. But there it is there. Oh, he, Stewart's just stumbled at the last minute and couldn't get up and recover and he's missed out and got a third place. So now down to the final two and Simon Harris looking to equal the great Michael Jones's record of seven Flags Championships. There he is. He'll realise what's at stake. So Harris now, Farncroft Wilson already down and waiting. To decide the gold medal in the Open Flags Championship of Australia. Simon Harris on the right-hand side. Crowcroft Wilson on the left. Crowcroft Wilson up first, just stumbling though, and Harris has come over the top, and he equals the great Michael Jones with seven Open Flags Championships of Australia. Well, on that occasion, Crowcroft Wilson can think himself a little bit unlucky there because he, he responded faster. He was definitely up first there, Pete, and it was just a shame that he lost his footing there, and Simon Harris came away with a victory. So the world champion now becomes the Australian champion and equaling the greatest of all time. Let's just take another look at it and see. He was up, wasn't he? Definitely up before him, but he just couldn't keep his footing. And Simon Harris, he wasn't going to give him another chance. Away he went. And happy with that victory too.
He's been so dominant over the past 10 years for Norcliffe. Simon Harris now stands tall with yet another gold medal in the open flags. It's a fantastic effort. Harris from Paul Crafroff, Wilson of Carrawa, Christopher Stewart from Alex, Morgan Foster and Thomas Nola from North Cottesloe are our top five in the men's open beach flags final. Simon Harris, six times Australian champ and current world champ. How sweet's this win? Mate, it's even better because it's seven. <laughs> Equals a record, so mate, I'm wrapped, you know. Michael Jones has been a hero of mine since I was about four years old, mate, and, uh, you know, like, he's uh, he's so good, and just to sort of get to where he was, you know, well, you know, nearly there. I'm, uh, I'm just over the moon, you know. I, I uh, put my life into this, and I'm just, I'm wrapped that it's come off. After you picked up the flag, you quickly raced over to the sidelines here and grabbed a phone. I take it you weren't checking the surf out at uh, at Northcliffe. No, mate, I swim like a house brick, mate. I was actually talking to my wife. She's at home, so uh, she had to stay back this year. She's uh, going through the police academy, so she couldn't get much time off. So, but uh, yeah, they just handed me the phone straight away. I couldn't really understand her, so she was. Uh, breaks me heart not to have her here, but I must be very proud of you. Well done. Oh, mate, thanks, guys. Wrapped, absolutely wrapped. Thanks. Yeah, his wife is Christy Harris, an Ironwoman champion in her own right. He lives and breathes his sport, Simon Harris. All credit to him.